Alrighty, so here is my study outfit. Um, I have my, oh no, I just accidentally undid it. I have my shirt tied up because, I don't know, a vibe, girl. Like, you know, it's a very basic outfit. It's just a black t-shirt and some black sweats. These are from Pink, Victoria's Secret, and this is from Forever 21. So, you know, I had to spice it up a little bit. I always like to tie my shirt when I want to spice it up. Anyways, yeah, I'm wearing these sweats, and I probably should have got a sm size smaller, but whatever, we figure it out, we make it work. And then I'm wearing this jacket. It is cold outside. Now, this is a very extra jacket to be wearing with a t-shirt and some sweats, but that is how I'm dressing it up. And I'm also wearing these tennis shoes, because like I said, I don't know if I'm going to go shopping later. Um, otherwise, I might have been a little spicy and put on my my uh boots my like heeled boots but who knows what I might get into so let's just stay prepared so we don't got to get prepared you know anyways yes this is what I'm wearing today <laughs> it's how I'm feeling right now let's go Alrighty, made it to the first Starbucks just parked so let's hope that there is space for me in there okay so plenty of space in the Starbucks. It's not packed at all, so I'm really happy about that. And I guess I will just set up, get a drink, the mango dragon fruit refresher, which is just water with mango syrup in it. I'm gonna still buy it though. Alrighty, so here we are getting all set up at the Starbucks. I actually get the mango dragon fruit refresher with apple juice instead of water because that's the only way that it tastes good. Otherwise, it just tastes like watered down fruit. Um, yeah, and then I'm just setting up my laptop and I have my book with me and I have um, a journal for me to like jot down stuff before I start coding. Today I'm gonna do two hours, at least two hours, and I'm gonna use leak code so I'll probably get through like four questions and then um, when I get tired of that, I will read this book. I just started it. I saw a lot of people talking about it on Twitter, so yeah. Um, yes, so that, that is gonna be, be what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna bring the camera down a little bit so we can get a cool time lapse going. OMG, OMG. OMG. So the way I'm gonna pick out a question is I mean, I've been studying for a long time So at this point it's like the The easy questions are easy for me like I'm good to go on those but those dynamic programming and um, Like trees list stuff like that. I just need more practice with those so That is what I'm just gonna search on leak code and then um, Yeah, so what I like to do is read the question, figure out what it's asking me, and then um, kind of write down what I, like my thoughts on paper, like how I would do it, draw out whatever I need. Basically just brainstorm on, on the paper and do that for like 10 to 12 minutes and then uh, actually start coding. So that's kind of what's been working for me. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm about to do. Oh, also a big thing, put yourself on the timer because obviously in an interview, you don't have all the time in the world. So I give myself 35 minutes because normally in an interview, you'll get 30 to 45 minutes. I've always gotten like 40 to 45. So that's why I give myself 35 because I feel like it's realistic for study purposes, right? Like if I had 30 minutes, it'd be a little bit longer, but like I'm trying to learn so I don't have to push myself so hard right now. Um, and then I'll just go down. Uh, as I get better at it. So yes, right now, timer is at 35. Alrighty, so I'm gonna try this same tree question. Um, it is an easy one, but it is a binary tree question, so whatever. And we're just gonna see what we come up with. So right here, you just see me uh, doing that first step I was talking about. So like, understanding the question, writing down what I would do, kind of just in plain English and then kind of mapping out how I would do it in code. So kind of like pseudo code before we get to the actual code. Okay, so I think I finished writing out my question. I forgot to turn my timer on, so that's good. Um, just comes with filming and trying to do things that you normally do. Um, what was I gonna say? Okay, so I finished writing it out. So now I'm gonna start typing it into lead code. And basically, I'm just going to fix it from there and submit and hope it works. And, you know, just do it all again. 
Um, and if I can't figure it out after like 30 minutes, I'll go ahead and look at the solution. Uh, mostly because at that point, I just feel like there's something I'm missing. Like there's a tool that I'm not getting. And I can also scrounge the web, but sometimes I just, if I want my study sessions to go a little faster, um, I'll look at the answer and then maybe look and then look it up after that versus like trying to scrounge the internet for the answer. Uh, so yeah. Okay, so I just realized that I did all this typing and I didn't film any, any of it, so I'm sorry. No cute B-roll for this question. But also... Hold on. Oh. Okay, also I've tried this three times and I keep getting it wrong, so yeah. Uh, that's the current struggle. Don't know what's going on. Alrighty, so finally got that one right. Um, took a little bit, took a little bit, okay? The first one is your warm up question. The first one is the warm up. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. You gotta get back in the gym. So, um, did that one. Now I'm gonna do like four more, but okay, so I feel like it's kind of boring to film a wrist, so I'll get some cute B roll and that'll be the study. I'll come, I'll come talk again when I move on to the book. Something I forgot to mention is that I'll also test inputs um, in my writing process. Uh, so you'll see me do that toward the end. I'm like testing what I wrote out. Um, and that's a very important part because you want to make sure there's like no bugs or like even that your solution actually works. So that problem, y'all just saw me typing. I kept getting it wrong, didn't know why. It was like undefined, undefined, undefined. Forgot to put a return statement in front of the value I was trying to return. So nothing was getting returned. So my solution was always wrong. Anyways, that was problem number four. So I'm gonna go home uh, because clearly I'm fried, clearly. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna finish this video while I'm still at the Starbucks. Um, so this this book, it is supposed to teach you, I guess, to think through these questions better. I think that's a big problem of mine is not thinking fast enough and not thinking correctly. So I'm only on like the 10th page of this book. Let me see, maybe 15. I don't know, I'm still in the first chapter, is my point. Um, and yeah, it's kind of just like walking me through, kind of like a thought process in the first chapter. Um, I'll keep you updated on this book. But yes, that is my study day for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.